Hello and a warm welcome to everyone across the globe. We should be underway very shortly. The players will be with us any time now. Well, I'm Peter Drury and I'm joined in the commentary box by the familiar figure of Jim Beglin. Thanks for that, Peter. Hi, everyone. The excitement has really picked up now and I'm eager for the action to start. So, Jim, tell me this. Who are you looking for in particular here? Well, this one is pretty easy. It's got to be Aguero. How do you contain someone with the speed of movement, technical strength and, and finishing ability that he possesses? All I'm saying is that I'm glad it's not me trying to stop him. Yes, he's certainly the one who carries the hopes of his team. Zabaleta played out to the right. Where to from here? Now it's Aguero. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. It's not taking him long, and that's going to be a booking. Well, what was required then was a little more patience. He didn't have to cross it so early. Aim forward. He acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, and the vision to get him through was all good, but the execution of the pass wasn't quite right. But importantly, he's holding his line until the very last moment, and that will pay off. It's a brilliant interception. Midway through the first half, and there's an impotence about this game that's causing me concern, and, and probably most of the stadium too. Let's just hope that by the end, It'll have been forgotten. Tried to play it through. The idea was good though, Peter, and I like the run that triggered the pass, but the quality was the problem. And it's Yaya Toure. Kolarov. Who's going to make this theirs? Goalkeeper's ball. Well, now would certainly liven things up. Some excellent tackling here, and that one a perfect example. Now it's Aguero. Tries a through ball. Gets it back. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. They didn't manage to get nearly enough into the box, and that speaks of little ambition. And that'll be the last act of the first half. So your views on the first half? Well, this has proved a very frustrating day so far, especially for the strikers. Nothing has been created for them. I think the service has been extremely poor. No goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half-time. So off we go once more. Well, the first half didn't really produce the goals we'd have liked. Hopefully they've been saved for the, the second. For that to be the case, though, we'll need to see more energy and invention early on. Keeper's got good distance on that. Otamendi battles to win it back. Moncala. Yaya Toure. Jesus Navas. Silva, Aguero passes it through, and he's made sure that that won't get through, gets it upfield, Otamendi positions himself well and cuts it out, Zavaleta, Aguero, seems now to be all about width. Well, when you have the personnel to create in wide areas, then they need to see as much of the ball as possible. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again.
Kolarov. Very little to report from an attacking perspective. Jim, it's a cagey old game. Yeah, I think it's a scoreline in keeping with what we've seen up to this point. Combined attempts at goal aren't high in numbers and we could do with something to spark this contest into life. Played out to the wing. And that's a throw in. And there is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Nasri looking to get on the end of this. Empoli driving forward in search of a late winner. Promising cross. Is it out of harm's way? Silva did well to step in there. That was more than necessary. Defenders on the back foot. Jesus Navas. The 90 minutes are up, 30 more to come. Well, the scoreline may have a disappointing look about it, Peter, but that's where it ends. I think this game has had a real lively feel, and I'm not ready to give up on it yet. So to clarify, extra time will follow. Into the channel. Tries a long pass towards the front. Defence has got rid of that. there to make a great save oh, he made that look really easy Peter but I can assure you that wasn't a, a routine save he had to be very switched on there Jesus Navas Zabaleta looks like a good ball through looking to shoot He's done very well to get to that. Um, that's it for the first period of extra time. And it is starting to feel as though there is an inevitability about penalties here. We'd like to think that both teams still want to win it in the final 15 minutes. The question is, can the players go that far? It's been cagey for this long. Will the last 15 minutes be any different? Empoli are still clinging on here with not long to go. Now the pass. Hits one! Good stop, that wasn't easy. Keeper has shown great concentration there I think his anticipation pretty much did the trick for him big chance and that is it time for no more yeah, I think both defences will receive the plaudits for respective clean sheets, but the players have run and worked to the point of exhaustion, so nobody will be questioning their appetite to, to get it won. Now the time for brave hearts and strong minds. Real tension here then as the first man readies himself. It is so important to score the first one. And he's found the net. Well, he strolled up and struck that with great confidence. That's a superb spot kick. Wilfried steps up for his penalty. Cruelly done, one each. 
always a little more pressure when you're trailing, but it didn't show. So, the second man in line. Oh, he cannot score. Sterling, his second man up. Oh, good take. Keeper committed himself. Yeah, it's a guessing game for the keeper, and he guessed wrong. Empoli in search of parity. He was always looking good there. Nice penalty. The third man in the queue. Oh, that was a great strike. He just gave the keeper absolutely no chance. So this one to restore parity. Perfect penalty. Well, it's never easy to step up and take a penalty, but he slotted that home with authority. Silva comes up, their fourth taker. It's in, and the keeper could have done better. I thought he did really well to hold his nerve then and score that penalty. Empoli must score to keep their hopes alive. Oh, nerveless. Good penalty, completely wrong-footed the keeper. Fernandinho comes forward for the fifth of five. That's it. It is done. So after a grueling game that went all the way, the winner is...